Before I continue with today's episode, I'd like to acknowledge my studio VIPs, Carl Spence, Luke Riamura, and Christopher Allen. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And today's featured studio artist is Jade Hales. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. And if you'd like to become a studio artist or studio VIP, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. Today's episode will not be filmed in the studio, it's filmed in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia because I was there for the Malaysia Percussion Festival. So without any further ado, this is today's very special international episode of The Studio. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and today we have a very special episode in Malaysia. We're actually sitting in the dressing room of KL Pack. It's a very glamorous dressing room. And I'm here today with two very special guests. My first guest is Cha Cheng Ko. Hello. Hey. 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 Director of the Malaysia Percussion Festival. He's yeah. the guy who made this festival happen. It's just finished. And congratulations to you. Thank you. It's a great festival. Yeah. You're awesome. And you too. on the right hand side, I have my new best friend, Gip Chan. <laughs> Uh, Yip Chan is a freelancer percussionist, but he also teaches in Hong Kong. Yeah. And he's come over to Malaysia for the festival as well. And we played together, it was a lot of fun. So yeah. thank you for joining me today. Yeah. So, Chen Kok, yeah. so tell me how you started percussion. I started playing bass drum when I was in the primary school. Oh, yeah. like, like standard two. The teacher gave me the smallest recorder like that. And then he said, ah, no, no, that's not suitable for you. So he give me another one like this long. Like, okay, this is for you. And then after that, he said, no, I think. Yeah. That thing, right? That yeah. thing that oh, yeah, they just yeah, yeah. bring up, and that's the bass drum. So I started a bass drum that time. I don't know how to read notes, like at, at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So what my teacher told me is like, hey, you just follow my hand. If I give you like this, you just play. No, no, yeah. I joined the band in my school, and after that, I go into my secondary school, like going to very serious band. I mean, band, like a marching band. But you never took a course or anything. Uh, I did uh, have classes with. Quite a number of teachers, like, but never like a university no, degree. Never. No degree. Look at what you can do with no degree. <laughs> Organize a yeah, whole festival. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I'm studying uh, computer studies actually. Uh, programming. One? Programming. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. So if if someone wanted to come to Malaysia to mm -hmm. study percussion, yeah. where would you tell them to go? For well, now, I think uh, best place to go to me. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Recommendation. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. UITA. Yes, UITA. Who teaches at UITA? Uh, we have Max Ripper teaching Max here. Right? Okay, awesome. of course, I, I do doing a long time teaching over there. Oh, I can learn from Cheng Kok, the master. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we have UPM as well. Uh, yeah, they are doing amazing courses. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the private one would be Sudan College. You just finished the Malaysia Percussion Festival today, yeah. literally yeah. as we're filming yeah. this video. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. now, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Can you explain how, how the process was like? What difficulties you had, maybe, mm -hmm. or anything like that? We, we've been to a lot, like our, our community member, uh, our, our management people, about seven months. Uh, of course, for me, myself, I've been planning for this uh, more than seven years. I keep telling myself, I have to do it, I have to do it. Like, this is finally, like, a lot of people ask me, like, why, why now? Why today? Why? This year, I couldn't answer that. Like, yeah. it's just like musicians. Like, yeah. why, why do they want to play this piece? <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. But if you ask me whether there's difficulty, I, I don't. I don't really think there's a big issue, right? Of course, financially we have some of the problems. Uh, I mean, budget everywhere. I think it's the same. Right? Yeah. We have budget problems yeah. about that. If you take that away, I think it's really good to have everyone gather around. It's a learning. Like, be inspired. You know, everyone can inspire. Each other, absolutely. Like, I mean, we were very inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. this is the goal that I go really into it. Very That's why we have the festival. You're a very generous yeah. man. Do you plan to have any more Malaysia percussion festivals? We we definitely yes. <laughs> yeah, I like. And that. I would like. I like invite you to come back again. Yes, for please. sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. please. <laughs> so bring more people come here. Of course, yeah, yeah, of definitely. course. Yes, yeah, of course. Now, give you from Hong Kong. Yeah. And Hong Kong is obviously. In Southeast Asia, it's probably one of the center points of percussion right now, along with like Taiwan, Japan. How did you start getting into percussion in Hong Kong? Probably similar with director. I was studying bass drum as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Since I'm 13 something, then I play like four years. Wow. Keeping the notes of house for the band. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to plan towards my career going to. I, I don't think I can study in university, something mm -hmm. like that. I, I asked my conductor, is there anywhere else I can study? 
real percussion. Now I have a career at least to teach percussion, something like that. Then he uh, suggested me a teacher to help me to uh, have exams and finally get into university. Have you already graduated from HKB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just graduated last July. What do you do at the moment here in Hong Kong? Uh, I'm planning to uh, a side of freelancing and teaching through school in Hong Kong. Conducting school production ensemble, whoa, and also whoa. starting a company that mostly promo. You're selling some new yeah, percussion yeah, products yeah. from your company. So what kind of products? So my products? company, part of rental and percussion for for orchestra, and decided we have sales like uh, a brand called Corey, C O R A Y, mm -hmm. selling yeah. marimba and desktop cell phone. This yeah. is a new design that other brands did not not much having a desktop model cell phone with more mm -hmm. That can cover or mostly exam requirement, and this is cheaper and safe space. You know, Hong Kong is very famous of for small, small space, small, yeah. and and you know, buildings are expensive. Company have to gain money, but also to promote percussion and find a way to get more people can available to. Them. Yeah, they can afford it. Yeah, they can easier. afford it easier. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of you guys have wouldn't have heard of something like Korea because you're more used to like the big firms, ah. your Remember wines and things like that, but there are a lot of these little brands yeah, starting yeah, up now. Coming out, yeah. And one of the ones that I actually found out about just a couple of days ago was your company, CK Mallet. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your CK Mallet. Uh, basically, CK Mallet, uh, I, I make a lot of custom made uh, Tiffany sticks. Of course, we have a triangle detail as well. Uh, but mainly, I, I do a as well. I would say it's my hobby. I start to like collect instruments that's one by one, one by one. I finally have like. And now you're graduating about to Yeah, that. that's right. But and then, of course, CK Mallet also uh, do a lot of events. Like in, yeah. I mean, in the future, I think in Malaysia, in future time, we'll create more and more events. Hopefully, we can go up to a conference. Great, like, conference, like five yeah. days yeah, or yeah, six yeah, days. Sure. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, it'll be one day. It'll be one day. I think. Isn't it great that we have all these small companies promoting yeah. more percussion in the broader community? Like just small things like this and that's what I think we really need to push for in the future. And speaking of timpani mallets, now Gip, you won past Italy in 2014 yeah. in the timpani category. Yeah. The timpani category, which is a huge achievement, past Italy is a huge competition. Do you have any tips for anyone who's learning timpani? Just like quick tips for someone who wants to get stuck into timpani. Like let's say they want to do a really nice, big, loud timpani roll. First of all, I'm, I, I don't think I have like a really high, high timpani. <laughs> Like mm. so oh. oh. sharing oh. a sensei only one. Different student asked about timpani. Yeah. First question is about what mallet should I buy? Should I buy this and buy this and they mm. bring like five pair or ten oh, pair to come Actually, yeah. don't. Just one pair general and practice all your scales, like mm. technique, technical problem, mm. single or, or or double or in timpani. Mm. Don't press your stick on the student. There's yeah. most mo students doing nowadays. But as you said in the back row, yeah. single stroke. It's just single stroke. stroke. Actually a lot of different pieces sounds like it's different but actually it's few techniques in there. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. Really and then aside of the solo, there's a lot, you know, orchestra is an important part. Mm -hmm. Prepare everything before the rehearsal. Before the ah, first rehearsal. Yes. Yes. Because uh, you are the solo yes. part. Mm -hmm. All the percussion instruments are solo part. Mm -hmm. Don't mess up. That's from prize winning <laughs> advice yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of people on the chat who ask me what are some tips people can have for practicing. So like if they if they have something they need to prepare like a competition like this or anything like that, what are some tips they can use to practice better? I, I really focusing a lot in, in my basics. Take it slow, make sure you keep everything precisely and then slowly add on your tempo and start get faster and faster. I think a lot of students, they, they always think of like, okay, when I, when I have a piece, I have to just go through everything and then come back, do it again. And we didn't focus like the, the weak point a lot of times. Yeah. Like we never practice the problem part. Stop, focus on the part. They always focus on the, the things that are wrong first. Yes, that's right. And try and, and fix that. Yes. And I mean, my opinion, I think choose the right piece for their level. Some of them choose a lot higher. Or they don't know what about the piece, yeah. what technique they need yeah. to cover that or to carry that. They just want to go fast. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't hide the problems. Right? I mean, most of the people know that's, that's yeah. the problem there. Yeah. So you don't like, ooh, like, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. no, that's not. <laughs> yeah. If anyone wants to find anything more about Hong Kong or about you, yeah. where should they go? They can find my Facebook search, Gip Chan, G I P C H A N. 
。All in Cantonese, Chan Wen Yi. Chen Yong Ye. In Facebook, you can search my page. I have also have account in IG, Instagram, and also Weibo, WeChat. Also can find YouTube channel. Everything. All links in the description below as well. Chen Kok. If they want to find out more about. Malaysia Culture Festival or you, yeah. <laughs> you, because you deserve this. Yeah, because you did so much for us. Where can we find that? Okay, of course you can go to Adams. Oh no, no. <laughs> You're already on this my channel. channel right? You're already on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> my name, right, Cheng Kok. You can search on C H I A C H E N G K O K on Facebook. Of course, I have Instagram as well. Well, no, not really, right? <laughs> Malaysia Percussion Festival website. Uh, we keep on yeah. uh, keep posting the yeah. new yeah. Uh, new things, the upcoming concerts, the yeah. upcoming events. Definitely, well. that's at uh, facebook.com forward slash Malaysia Percussion Festival. Highly recommend the festival. <laughs> Thank you for your time, guys. Thank, Thank you, you. Yeah. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Give you so Chan. Much. I hope you guys learned a lot from these two guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for yeah. these guys because these guys are awesome. They're my new best friends. And I will see you next time in another episode of the studio. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Woo!